Welcome to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know who we are, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Ridge Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior. A warrior. Somebody fighting, <laughs> somebody fighting for their legacy, for their family, for their inheritance, for that which they want to leave for their children. But in order to fight, you got to be prepared for the battle, right? And so that's what we do. We're super passionate about making sure that people coming behind us are prepared for the battle. Mm. Ron and I did 15 years of incarceration. Ron doing time on the inside while the kids and I did the time on the outside. And we learned what it meant to go to battle and to fight for our legacy. You know, we're talking about a war that happens every day with, with Kathy raising the boys on her own, being a single mom because I was incarcerated, right? And me in prison trying to survive and navigate through that lifestyle, right? From the seven prisons that I was in and really trying to understand how do I maintain a relationship with Kathy, the boys, and still survive the penitentiary experience. And that was a heck of a journey for us, but we learned a lot, a heck of a lot, right? I like that word today, apparently, a heck of a lot. A heck of a lot. And so we wanna share with you the things that we learned that helped us become a healthy, thriving, successful family so that you can reach your greatest potential and dreams too. So that's what Tyro TV is about. That's why we developed the Tyro programs is to make sure that every family had the opportunity to overcome every single battle. Because there is life after penitentiary, there gentlemen. Is. There is life after whatever trauma, whatever addiction, whatever thing that you have had to overcome, there's life after that. Mm -hmm. But you gotta come to a place of where, you know what, I own this part of my journey. I own this story. This is my highway and I got it messed up, it's dirty, but now we wanna help empower you and equip you on how to clean your path. So today is a really important topic. Today we're gonna to be talking about correcting others. Mm. Because as a person, as you become a leader, as you begin to take up your legacy, you are going to find that you are gonna have opportunity, lots of opportunity to correct others. You're gonna be correcting people around you, you're gonna be correcting your children, and so you really need to understand what is true correction? And why is it important and how do you actually do it? So stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about some key principles on how to do it, how to correct others in a healthy manner. We'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You will be taught to take responsibility for your actions, to own it. You will be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about how to correct others in a healthy way. <laughs> how to do it. What a challenge, you know? right? <laughs> how many times have you found yourself that you wanted to tell somebody something to help them become better and instead it turned into a fight and they became bitter, right? Well, you know, a lot of times, you know, we talk about how to correct others. If we're not correcting others uh, with an agenda to help them, mm -hmm. to really help them because we're being offended by what something's being done. And, I, and if I try to correct somebody, if I try to correct mm -hmm. you, Kathy, right. because something you're doing isn't going the way I want it to go. <laughs> that's that means, not correcting me. That's not correcting you. No. That's, that's me taking offense to whatever, right. whatever's happening. And I'm, so I'm coming at you in a way that is unhealthy, mm -hmm. that might be degrading, right. um, disrespectful, mm -hmm. dishonorable. Dishonoring. Right. Mm -hmm. All of those things happen when you are trying to change somebody because something about them offends you mm. or annoys you. <laughs> Correction is completely different. When you're trying to correct somebody, it's because you see that the course that they're on is going to take them in a direction that is going to cause harm to them. Say that. When the course that they're on is going to cause harm 
to them or take them in a direction they don't want to go. Mm. And so that's when you correct them. That's when you say, hey, wait, you know, I, I just got to let you know that what you're doing isn't going to get you what you want. That's correction. And that's what we're talking about. But it's so easy to get caught up in offense. It's so easy to actually go and offend somebody because we're offended and we want to just go to them and we we call it, we say, well, I just want to correct you. But the truth is, I want to change you. I want to align you with my will, with my wants, my desires. Or my belief system. Right. Right? And then when we do that, we're not correcting anybody. In fact, we're trying to dictate and, and force our will mm -hmm. on somebody else versus really empowering. See, when you correct somebody, as Kathy was saying, we're putting them on the right direction because we already know what it's going to look like, right. right? So now we have children. Come on, dads, right? And we already know that if, if they keep going on this certain path, why? Because we've been there, done it. We know the outcome if they stay the course where it could lend them incarcerated, it could lend them loss of a job, mm -hmm. it could lend them in an accident. Whatever the case may be, we are there to help guide and correct somebody in a manner which empowers them to find the success that they're looking for. But if we're not doing it in that with that agenda or with that intent, then what is our intent? What are we really right. doing it for? Now, we're not saying that you might not feel really passionate because if you're correcting someone you really care about, you're probably going to feel pretty passionate about it. You might even have some feelings of frustration or even be angry. And that's especially true when we look at our kids, right? So if we tell our kids, you know what? If you want to be successful, do A, B, C, and D. And then two weeks later, we see that they're doing X, Y, Z. And so there, there's frustration with that. So you can still correct them and help them align without exhibiting your frustration. We'll talk about that later. But we want to make sure you understand what we mean when we say correct somebody. You might be angry, you might be frustrated, but the goal and the idea of correction is to help somebody reach their highest potential, not to help you get what you want. And that's really the defining difference between correcting somebody and starting an argument. And how do you, how do you know you're there? One of, the, one of the Lipton's tests that you can use is, at the end of your correction, is there understanding, mm. right? Because if you go to discipline them or if, you, if you're taking offense to whatever it is that's offending you and you're trying to correct them and there's no understanding at the end of that rainbow, mm -hmm. right? Then that's not correcting. Right. right, that's you dictating, that's you being a fence, that's you forcing your will on somebody else. So if you've ever been in conversation, and this happens to us a lot, we'll be with couples, and if one person starts to talk and the other person is consistently correcting them, there's a power struggle mm. there. It's not that they're trying to make the other person better, right? They're not trying to, to shine them in a better light. If that were true, they would wait till they were behind closed doors and they would say, hey, honey, I just want to let you know, you use the word word socks and really what you meant were mittens. And oh gosh, you know what? But the gist of it was there, no big deal, right? right? Or even just letting it go because if we all understood that she meant mittens or he meant mittens, but he said socks, it doesn't matter, right? Now correction, on the other hand, even if you're in public, you'll see sometimes that parents have the need to correct their children. And that is to avoid unnecessary bad behavior to help their child learn to self-regulate, to help their child learn what's appropriate versus inappropriate in public. And so correction is always done yeah. with firm, friendly, and fair. When we come back, we're gonna talk about why this is important. So dads, you don't wanna miss this because when you get home, somebody's gonna be correcting you and you're gonna be correcting them. But we wanna do it with being healthy in a manner that edifies and empowers others. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Playing catch, basketball, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. 
Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about correcting others in a healthy way. Right, so we just, we just spent a little bit of time just sharing with you exactly what we mean. Because what we don't mean is getting other people to do things you want them to do just so you get your way. That's not correcting mm. other people. That, that is having a temper tantrum. Yeah, and we've all done that, right guys? Right. <laughs> so why is this important, Kathy? Why is it important that we understand this key principle on correcting others in a healthy way? Because if we want to lead well, Dad, if you want to lead well, you've got to be able to correct bad behavior. You have mm. to be able to correct when people are doing the wrong thing. That's what leaders do. Leaders don't run from confrontation. Mm. Leaders don't hide when they see something. Leaders don't talk about people, they talk to people. And understanding that if you wanna be a leader, if you wanna be a tyro, right? A person worth following to be a leader in your home, your community and your workplace, that requires building and earning a reputation that is respectful. In order to have that type of reputation, you've got to be able to correct other people appropriately. That means going to them, that means addressing the behavior, right? And so when you think about correcting other people, you want it to actually enhance your relationship, not tear it down. And this is especially important in your home because if you go home as a dictator, like you said earlier, and it's my way or the highway, and you are just telling your kids, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do it my way because I said so, you are gonna destroy any possibility of reunifying your family and creating a strong family bond. Now dads, this goes two ways. This is a two way streak. You know, not only we want you to be a leader and really help empower others by correcting them in a way that's respectful, that edifies them, but then also we as leaders are always growing. We're in this place called teachableness, right? We are always on this continuous improvement plan. So that means that we need to be corrected at times. That means that we allow others to come into our lives to correct us and we don't shy from it, we don't run from it. Is it supposed to be comfortable? Of course not, absolutely not. But when you come to a place as a true leader and the man and the person that you're supposed to be for your family, you will become stronger and you will invite others to help sharpen you up, to help correct you where you need to be corrected. Because if you really wanna be an influencer, we're talking about the why right now, if you really wanna be an influencer, which is, which is the, the goal of everybody, right? You wanna influence culture, you wanna influence your family, you wanna influence your community, then you have got to be brave enough to be able to correct other people. And by correcting, that is both recognizing that you're not perfect, but also helping other people overcome the obstacles in front of them. It's important if you wanna have influence, it's important if you wanna lead well, it's important important if you want to reestablish yourself as someone that, you, that is trustworthy, mm -hmm. as the protector for your children. Because protectors do two things. Yet they protect from outside influences, right, that could damage, but they also correct things internally so that you're always prepared to stand when the enemy comes. When I say the enemy, sometimes the enemy is your own mind battle. Sometimes it's people outside your family that are criticizing you and trying to hold you back because of your past. But now remember, as Kathy mentioned, you're also protecting the inner of your family, the structure that you're building. But, and so you don't wanna create friendly fire, dads. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're not understanding how to correct somebody, you could create friendly fire where you're destroying rather than creating or building up. And we wanna empower you with this segment here, understanding the why. It is so important that you understand why as a leader, you know how to correct correctly. So think about when you put on glasses, right? So you put on glasses and they say what well, they actually call them corrective eyewear, right? Mm, yep. Instead of just glasses, yep. we call them glasses. I got mine right here. Right, there is a corrective eyewear. Well, when he has the right prescription and it's exactly tailored to his needs, then the corrective eyewear actually helps him become more healthy and able to be more productive. If he had the wrong eyewear, mm. it would actually cause him to be less productive and less healthy because it would be more damaging to his eyesight. The same thing, when you bring correction, it's so important to do it in the fair, friendly, right? Firm, friendly, and fair, right? When we the think about the three Fs, and, and why it's important is to help bring and restore health to your family and your community. Now remember dads, your family right now is hurting, right? They're in pain, mm -hmm. right? And they might be, and they have every right to be mad at you because you're not there in your rightful place. So sometimes when you're correcting your kids, they may not be able to hear what you're saying, but it is important that you stand firm. The three Fs that Kathy described, firm, friendly, and fair. And as you practice this consistency, they will begin to hear your corrective, whatever it is you're saying to them to help them become better. Because now you're engaged with the family, not attacking the family. 
Mm, that is so true. When mm -hmm. we come back, we're going to tell you exactly how to do this, how to correct others and actually have it be healthy and enhance your relationship. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around. I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man, learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad. You're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro. Dad. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we're talking about having a conversation when you're correcting somebody and how to do it right. How to do it with the intent to help somebody grow. How do you correct others? Because you need to know how to do it. I am sure that in the past that you were confronting other people, mm. but not necessarily walking away with that relationship strengthened. So today we really need you to understand and we're hoping that you walk away today with the skills that you need to correct others in a way that actually builds safety and makes people feel like they want to lean in and they want to come seek your counsel. You know, somebody might be asking, you know, why are we talking about this? Well, listen, dads, just because you're a dad doesn't make you a leader, mm -hmm. right? Leaders are not are not born, they're made, right? And this is part of being a leader. You're growing into your leadership role as a father, possibly a husband, but you're gonna be running your home. And there's gonna be people in your home that are gonna need your guidance in order, so, in order to be successful, whatever their dreams, ambitions, and goals are, and you can help navigate and shape that person's thinking, that person's journey along the way. And sometimes you gotta be corrective. You gotta correct them, man. <laughs> That's right, you gotta correct them gotta to help correct. them. And so now how do you do it? So the first thing is understand that this is gonna be a courageous conversation. Ooh, say that, guys. Courageous, courageous conversation. conversation. Say it again. Courageous, courageous conversation. conversation. And that means it's gonna take courage on your part because we understand that when you correct others, that there's a risk involved. There's a risk that they're gonna take offense. That's right. There's a risk that they could create a rift, even if it's temporarily in your relationship. And so there is a risk involved, but that should not stop you from telling someone when they're about to do something destructive or that they are doing something destructive. So the number one is, Courageous conversation. Let me give you a story, an example of, of this. So I'm home now from prison and I'm talking to my youngest son and we're talking about his relationships with, with, other, with girls and stuff. And well, you know, he didn't want to hear it from dad. You know, I'm just now home and still trying to manage and navigate our relationship. And so I'm saying, hey, whatever you do, whatever you want to do, I'm here for you, son. Whenever you're ready, I'm here. So I didn't force my way in there, though, believe me, I wanted to. I want to be part of his life, but I had to I had to really humble myself and discipline myself to not force my way into a relationship with him. But one day he's got this girlfriend and it didn't work out with him and, and, uh, and it was a pretty hard breakup, right? And so he came to me after that experience he had and, and it was amazing. He said, dad, I need your help. And so I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to be cool, right? I'm not trying to overboard the excitement that's happening inside me. He's asking for help. He's asking for help. And so he said, well, what is it? What? I said, what is it you need? He said, Dad, I need your help to fix what I broke, 
right? And so I, I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, I know the right thing to do, but I didn't go into this relationship right, so can you help me? And in a way, now he's asking me to help correct his behavior, maybe some of his thought processes, help me navigate in life so I don't make this same mistake twice. So that brings us to the second thing that you need to do, and that is to be clear, concise, and caring. Mm, let's say that again. Clear, clear concise, concise, and, and caring. caring. So the first one, we had courageous conversations, letting someone know, hey, you know, I'm concerned about you, or hey, you crossed the line, right? So correction can be gentle, it still has to be firm, or it can be like, okay, a little more firm, depending on the circumstance, but it must be clear. What is the behavior? What exactly is going on? Concise, define it very clearly and concisely so that they're not wondering, now wait, what about it, yep. things I'm doing? And then caring. Because if you are clear, you know what? You, you have to stop dating multiple girls. Concise, one sentence, right? And then caring, because I care about you and this is hurting you. It's hurting your ability to bond and really connect with somebody. And you're walking around feeling empty, right? And so that's the caring part. So remember, when you're correcting somebody, at the end of this whole, whatever it is you're facing and you're dealing with, with your loved one or people that are in your care, right? At the end of it, there has to be understanding. Because mm -hmm. if there's no understanding and you're correcting somebody and they still don't get it, then right. you didn't do it, then you didn't right. correct you them. You didn't correct them, you just had a conversation, right? But correction means that you have clearly identified what the issue is, you've been very concise about it, and caring at the same time. And then that leads us into the third thing that you have to do if you really wanna implement this, this correcting others in a healthy way, is think about the plus minus plus. Right? Mm, so ready? you start out with saying something positive. Hey, I noticed you've been working really hard. I noticed you've been getting up earlier. Um, but, I, but there is something I need to bring to your attention that is still going to keep you from reaching your goals. But keep going, right? You're, you're on the right track or you're headed the right direction. So you say something positive and then you deal with the issue and then you end with something positive. Now the positive cannot be flattery. This is really mm. important because we've seen people misuse this and fill it with flattery and the people well, walk away and they feel, they feel rejected, they feel disrespected because they know it was flattery. They wanna say, just come out and tell me, right? And so come out and tell them the truth. When you're giving the pluses, they have to be true. And then take it back to number two, clear, concise, and caring. Mm. Plus, minus, plus, and courageous conversations. And this is really, really powerful because once you begin practicing these principles and you growing into a position of leadership, you're gonna be wondering, wow, people will be wondering, why do you get promoted? Mm -hmm. Why is it that people are gravitating you for advice? Why are they gravitating you for self-help? Because you're telling them the truth in a way that is caring and you're, you're, you're precise about what you're, you're doing. You know at the end of your conversation, they're gonna leave empowered because that's your goal. When you're correcting somebody, you wanna empower them to you take it to the next level. But when you're not empowering others and you're constantly beating them up and tearing them down, I promise you, they will never come back to you for advice. They will never tell you their, their most hidden secrets. They will never come to you for help or guidance. If you wanna have a healthy relationship with your kids and reestablish your position as their father, their protector, right? Then you need to know how to correct others with love. And so when we come back, we're gonna wrap this all up and give you some final pointers, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Cairo Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You'll begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And wow, 
This has been an amazing conversation. I'm gonna tell you the truth. This has really helped me a lot to really talk about this, correcting others in a way that brings understanding at the end of every conversation. And builds relationship. Mm, so as we talked about today, we talked about the difference between confronting somebody and actually correcting them, right, with love. We talked about the ways to do it, why it's so important, because we don't wanna breed bitterness. We don't wanna destroy relationships. We're trying to reunify relationships. In order to do that, you've got to be honest. And so you have to have be prepared to have, number one, courageous conversations. And number two, clear, concise, and caring. And number three, the plus minus plus. And if you apply all three of those principles as you think about correcting someone, take a step back. Don't do it in the heat of the moment. Take a moment, think about mm. what is the behavior that I, that I need to help them correct? Why do I need to help them correct it? And then how can I give them advice to actually be able to overcome this obstacle in their life to continue towards success? You know, in the past, we would practice the behavior. If somebody needs to be corrected, we would take it personal mm -hmm. and we would move in that area of taking it personal we're not correcting, we're, we're venting, mm -hmm. we're upset, and we're coming at them in a way that's not healthy. We're dropping a bomb mm. and walking away. But if you would just take back, you realize you gotta correct one of your children, take back, think about it, how can you help them really come to a place of understanding so that they are corrected and they are empowered by your wisdom, by your correction, by your understanding, so that they don't end up in a bad place. So we hope that you learned something today that you can apply in your life right now to build healthy relationship with your children so that as you transition back out into your family's lives, that you guys will have a solid foundation to build upon. And listen, if you have a Tyro community where you're at, and I hope you do, gather around with the Tyros. Talk about what you're learning. Talk about how you're growing. Empower each other to become better, not bitter. Because that's what this is. This is a Tyro community. I hang around a lot of fathers who are growing, helping each other, uh, really trying to create a, a healthy family so the next generation is more empowered than they were. And that's the goal of Tyroisms. And as you transition home, we want to encourage you to connect with us on Tyro365.com and we can continue to provide content to you to help you along your journey. So thank you again for letting us be part of your journey and always remember that, that we, we are rooting, rooting for you. you.